Alina Rabakina versus Arena Sabalenka is the final for the Ladies Australian Open for 2023. And both ladies have been super impressive to get to the final stage. Sabalenka started the tournament off as a number five seed and will take on Martin Chova in the first round. And this was no problem for Sabalenka, winning in straight sets, 6-1, 6-4. In the second round, she'll take on the boogie woman, Shelby Rogers, who had beaten big names at slams before. But again, no problem for Sabalenka, getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-1. In the third round, she'll take on former doubles partner in number 26 seed, Elise Mertens. And again, Sabalenka super impressive, getting through in straights, 6-2, 6-3. In the fourth round, she'll take on her toughest opponent yet, the number 12 seed, Belinda Bencic. And after a very close first set, Sabalenka got through in straights again, winning 7-5, 6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals of Australia. Sabalenka would take on the unseeded Vekic in the quarterfinals. And after a long first set, Sabalenka would eventually get through in straights, 6-3, 6-2, to get to another Grand Slam semifinal. In the semifinals, Sabalenka took on the unseeded Lynette, who had been the surprise of the tournament, and after a close first set, Sabalenka got the job done in straights, winning 7-6, 6-2, to make it to her first ever Grand Slam final. In the first round, Rabakina came in as the 22nd seed, and will take on Chucky Aretto. And after a close first set, she got through in straights, winning through 7-5, 6-3. In the second round, she took on the youngster Yuvan, but this was no trouble for Rabakina, getting through easily under an hour, 6-2, 6-1. In the third round, she take on the 13th seed and last year's finalist, Danielle Collins. And after dropping the second set, she eventually got through in three, 6-2, 5-7, 6-2. In the fourth round, she took on the number one player in the world, Iga Fiontech. And after a very close couple of sets, Rabakina got through, taking out the world number one, 6-4, 6-4, to advance to her first Australian Open quarterfinal. In her quarterfinal, Rabakina would take on fellow Grand Slam champion Ostapenko, the number 17 seed. Rabakina demolished Ostapenko, 6-2, 6-4, to get to her first Australian Open semifinal. In her semifinal, Rabakina would take on the number 24 seed Azarenka. And after a very close set, Rabakina took it out in straights, 7-6-6-3, to get to her second Grand Slam final. These two players have played three times before with Sabalenka leading the head to 3-0, but every match has been close three sets and they haven't played since Rabakina has won that Wimbledon title. If Rabakina is going to win this one, she needs to serve big and she needs to hit the ground strokes wider and wider. We know Sabalenka does have a little bit of a similar game to Azarenka and the more you make Sabalenka move, the harder it's going to be for her to take over the baseline. If Sabalenka's going to win, it's about taking over the baseline, just like what Rabakin is going to do to her. These ladies are so similar in styles that the game plan will be pretty similar. This is a very fun final, and it's going to be a very big serving final. I think we're going to get a lot of close games here and maybe some tie breaks as well. I'm going to go with Rabakina in three sets. I think she's going to win her second Grand Slam. Sabalenka's had a great run, but Rabakina's been here before. But let me know down in the comments below who is going to win the Australian Open for the ladies.